Hi and welcome to Bloxy. It's time for another tutorial video and in this one we will check out how to use Bloxy Pro's Content Blocks feature to dynamically insert advertisements throughout your website. The system is really powerful as you can even insert blocks even inside already published posts without doing too much work. It also supports inserting static ads as well as dynamic ads from a third party service such as Google AdSense. Let's begin, but before that, please note that all content you will see in this video has been created specifically for demonstration purposes. You will need to embed your own content though through the system. As you can see, in this video, we have chosen a template that also incorporates WooCommerce functionality, as we will be able to implement static ads for one partner company that you might want to check out. We will also implement some dynamic ads from Google AdSense for our blog posts. Start by navigating to any product page. See the Hook Locations button at the top. Hover over it and choose Show WooCommerce Hooks. Now all the available locations are displayed on the page so we can choose where we would like our advertisement to be embedded. Because we like this ad to be front and center, we will embed it above the product short description. Sure enough, click on the little pencil icon inside the little hook box and a new Gutenberg editor should pop up with the location already pre-selected. Let's give it a name to differentiate the content block from the others. We'll name this phone case advertisement. Then insert your content onto the page. We'll insert ours as a reusable block since the design has already been created to save time. Magnificent. We're not done quite yet as we need to set some display conditions. Since this advertisement has been created to showcase a phone case company, we'd like to embed it only for the smartphones that we have for sale on our website. A phone case wouldn't make sense on an Xbox console. Make sure you're on the Bloxy option screen using the little icon at the top right. Notice the display conditions fields. Click on add display condition, and select post with taxonomy ID from the list. And then simply use the second drop down to select the relevant product category. Don't forget to also check the other options as they might be useful to your case, such as the expiration date or the device visibility option. Perfecto, save the changes for now and let's continue. Now we're done with our static ad. It's time to insert dynamic Google ads throughout our blog posts since we like to monetize our site a bit. For this workflow, we will create a content block from scratch. Go to the WordPress dashboard and you should already be on the content block screen. Click on Add New at the top and give it a name. We're back on our blank Gutenberg editor. Let's get the content part out of the way and insert our reusable block. You might see a blurry picture on the video hiding the Google AdSense code. This is just video editing to protect our Google AdSense account, but of course, you'll replace the contents with your own code. Now, here comes the interesting part. We would like to insert our Google Ads dynamically after the first two blocks from a post. Click on the location dropdown and search for after certain number. Uh, there it is. You'll need to select the after certain number of blocks location as the theme will automatically calculate the position for each block post. Don't forget to set the ad to appear after two blocks. We also need to set the display conditions for this new content block. So for this one, we will select a single post condition. Done. Save the changes and let's go to the front end to see what we have achieved. First, let's navigate to a random product that's not in the smartphone category. The product page seems normal with no ads to be found. Now let's go back to verify if our conditions are working correctly. And voila, the ad appears only on the relevant products, in this case, a smartphone. Now let's check our dynamic ads on our blog posts. And of course, the ads display correctly here as well. And that's it. We hope that this tutorial video has come in handy in understanding a few simple but powerful Bloxy Pro workflows. The possibilities are endless here and the system can be used for anything you might think of that works with Gutenberg. 
As usual, if you have any questions, drop by creativethemes.com and check out the documentation and tutorials section. And if you still can't find the answer, the support section is just a click away. Until next time, take care.